Hey guys, this is going to be a little bit of a life update video and I'm just going to get right into it. At around the end of April, my favorite band, Brand New, suddenly created this big whir and stir in their fan base. Like, they'd been kind of on the down low, playing shows and tiny venues, and all of a sudden, people were receiving these lyric books. It says Pogolith, issue number 000, lyrics to the devil and god are raging inside me. The album came out in 2006. Within the album, there should be a lyric book, right? It has a little booklet, but there's no lyrics. It's just photos and like random scribbles and stuff. And at the very end, it says, if you want to copy the lyrics, send a dollar to this address. People sent a dollar and completely forgot about it. Remember, this is 2006. People have moved, things happen. Suddenly, these booklets started showing up at people's addresses. So that was already a little bit of a stab at me, like, whoa. They're doing things. I'm so excited and me and my boyfriend love brand new together. We're like crazy diehard fangirls. They're doing things. Maybe they're gonna have new music. I think it was about a week later, right after they played at Coachella, they played another venue and they played a new song. Their first new song in six years. People lost their shit, including myself. I was like, oh my god, they have a new song. I what? And they had put out a music video. They're a band that doesn't put out music videos. They put up a music video on their website. They redid their whole website. They added tour dates. And I'm scrolling through the dates and I notice that there's about four days that still have tickets, which if any of you know brand new, there's no such thing as still have tickets for a venue. Usually they sell out of tickets 10 minutes before the tickets went on sale. It's ridiculous. So I saw that the closest venue that still had tickets was in North Carolina and it was on May 9th. And I'm sitting there looking at these tickets in my cart and I'm like, should I do it? They're only like 30 bucks a piece, but it's in North Carolina. <laughs> so about a week later, I'm sitting in the computer lab at school and I see that along with the lyric booklets, people are also getting these other little pieces of paper and stuff. There's a little like secret message on the back of a piece of paper and it translated once you figured out the code to rest in peace, brand new, 2018. At this point, I'm like, oh my god, I might never get to see them again because they're never gonna come back here and I need to see them now. So I went into Ticketmaster, I had the tickets in my cart, I texted my boyfriend, I'm like, look, we're going to brand new. It's in North Carolina, get ready. I'm buying these tickets, you're buying the hotel, we're going. And he said, okay. I bought the tickets and I've never felt so excited. This was my fourth time seeing them. It's five in the morning, the day of the show, and it's a nine hour road trip according to Google Maps wrong. It was more like 11 and a half, but that's okay. My boyfriend's car broke down. The mechanic messed up more than he fixed. We had to drive all the way back to his house, burn a bunch of CDs because his dad's car does not have an auxiliary cord, borrow his father's car, and thus began our road trip at like 6.30 in the morning. It was a really long trip. It wasn't that bad, but it was just nine hours of plain open road. We get there, we pass out for like an hour at the hotel that was like really dinky and smelled like cigarette smoke. We got to the show and I had an amazing time. I think that was probably the greatest brand new concert I'd ever been to. I got to meet so many people that I had been talking to on Facebook about this show. There's this group of just brand new fans and they recognized me and we were like, oh my god, hey, you drove from New York too, or you drove from Pennsylvania. Crazy. People drove from further away than we did. We were in the crowd and one of the people that I knew through the Facebook group was like, oh my god, you're Julie, hey! And he hugged me. And then I realized I'm standing in the like 30 people that all came from New York. Like somehow we all kind of like bunched together. Some people I didn't even know, but they were like, oh, I'm from New York too, that's so cool, but I live here now. There were even a few women who like complimented my outfit, which was honestly just this t-shirt, but they have an album called Daisy, so I was like, haha. Get it? Daisies? <laughs> Super lame.
we went out to this really cute burger place and got some delicious burgers and fries. Went back to the hotel and I had never passed out so easily in my life. Just from the 11 plus hours in the car, most amazing show, all the emotions I felt, all the screaming and sweating and crying and <laughs> everything. Passed out, woke up at 10 a.m., left the hotel. While we were driving, we were wondering why is it raining so hard? We literally couldn't see the car like 10 feet in front of us. It was pouring torrential rain. So I looked it up on my phone. We happened to be driving through the first tropical storm of the year. It was fine, it was just a lot of rain, but the funniest thing was I wish I still had like the pictures, but I had snapchatted them like an idiot instead of saving them. When we were in North Carolina, pouring rain, couldn't see anything, windshield wipers were doing nothing. The second we crossed the state line into Virginia, it was sunshine. It was so weird. So bizarre. So, so, so bizarre. One more thing about the show. I'm still, like, so happy that I went. Oh my god, it was like two weeks ago now. It feels like it was yesterday. But at the show, they gave out these lyrics to the other one of their new songs, which they sadly did not play. But they played the most beautiful ending song. It's called Soko Amaretta Lime. And I'm going to insert the clip of why it was so amazing right here. It was amazing just to see the whole crowd, like 6,000 people, chanting along these lyrics that they wrote on their first album and him changing the words at the very end to saying that he's just jealous because we're young and in love and it was just this beautiful moment and I cried and it was probably the best ending to that like concert I could have imagined and I'm so happy I went. I will never regret that. It was amazing. The reason my road trip for the concert was so short and just two days there and back but as you may know, I was a full-time college student until Friday, and that explains why I was so busy for the past few weeks, because I had finals, I had to write thousands of words and papers, I had to basically print out my life's work, because I would never have such a great opportunity to print all of my photographs on nice, amazing printers, like the best of the best, with the best ink and really nice paper, because it was so cheap to print at school, and it's never going to be that cheap again. So. I utilized all my time in printing all of my work and writing all of these papers and just finishing up my college career, so I hadn't had time to do anything other than school for the past like two weeks. But I mean, I got one of these in the process, I got a diploma. I graduated before I knew if I passed all of my classes. I'm pretty sure people still had class the morning of graduation, I don't know how my school decided that, but we did. <laughs> and I got to graduate at Madison Square Garden. That's so crazy. I now have my Bachelor's of Fine Arts in Photography from Pratt Institute, and I'm so proud of myself and so very thankful for the opportunity that I had to go to this school. And I'm so very thankful for my family and friends and everyone who's been there for me and done things for me and just everything. It's been great. And I'm done with college. I can't believe it. I'm done with college. It still hasn't sunk in. Normally, at this time, I would be sitting in my thesis class talking about work, and now I'm at home filming a video. It's so weird. I think that's all I really wanted to talk about in this video. That's basically my life update. I drove a thousand miles for a concert, and then I graduated. Now that you guys are up to date on my life, I'm gonna go back to making other videos, and the first one that I'm gonna be doing is a really big Sephora haul. I have the box of stuff right here, and I'm super excited to go through it all. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.